The Tonight Show is coming to you live from New York City. And this week from the Blacklist, James Spader, Lin-Manuel Miranda, Natalie Portman, Taylor Swift, and Joaquin Phoenix. New Fallon this week. Welcome back to the Volkswagen Post Game Report. Drive bigger. Here now, Al Michaels and Chris Collinsworth. It was that graph we just put up in the breeze, paint and arrow, which started in 06. First home game in which the Saints don't score a touchdown, but they win. And how about that Saint defense? They held Elliott to under two yards a carry tonight. And just so key now, back-to-back -back wins without Drew Brees. They're just trying to get it in position. When Breeze comes back, they're going to be able to make a run, and I think these two games are going to be huge when we look back on their season. Next week, Patrick Mahomes. That's all we need to say. How's he doing? You know, I mean, really, it wasn't pretty today by Kansas City by any means. It wasn't pretty by Patrick Mahomes, and yet with the game on the line, when he had to get it done, right down the field. Beat Detroit, and I think on Indianapolis, and you know, the Colts, everybody thought, well, they're, they're going to die on the vine. Two and two, one of the losses in overtime, got beat by Oakland today, but we'll see them next week uh, in Kansas City, rematch of the divisional playoff game we saw last season. They will have to play well. On to Barbecue Central, Kansas City, Missouri, next Sunday night. Final score here, four field goals by Lutz, does it, as New Orleans knocks off the previous undefeated Cowboys by a final score of 12-10. So until next week, Al Michaels, Chris Collins, with Michelle DeVoy, the whole crew, Fred Fidelli, Dressikoff, our brain trust with Kelly Hayes and Andy Freeland and the gang. George Hill saying good night from the Orleans. NBC Sports thanks you for watching this special presentation of the National Football League, celebrating 100 seasons.